Stellenbosch University student Tians Dutoy will be appealing his expulsion from the institution. Dutoy has been expelled with immediate effect following a hearing by the university's independent central disciplinary committee. He was caught on camera, you'll remember, urinating on fellow student Baba Londwayana's belongings in May. Okay, so that's what you saw. That's what's going on in the country right now. That's the hot topic is trending. Our people are in an uproar. They want the white student to pay for his crime. They want the Stellenbosch University to be held accountable and to take responsibility of what that Kidomai student has done. Okay, so now we're going to deal with it according to the scriptures as it is written. Okay, so the reason why that Kidomai student did what he did is because of this. Give me the book of Job, chapter 30, verse 5. The book of Job, chapter 30, verse 5. They were driven forth from among men. Meaning the day, the day he took about Esau and his descendants during the dark ages. They were children of fools. You see what God is saying? That's why that white, that kid of my student was able comfortably to pee on an Israelite student's laptop and books, you understand, at Stellenbosch University. Because God says they are children of fools, meaning they are dumb as hell. Go ahead. Yay. Children of base men. Are they are children of base men, meaning they are the worst people on this planet earth. They are worse than anything on this earth. That's what it says. They are children of base men. But right now they are on top of us. But they are children of base men. Go ahead. They were viler than the earth. They are worse than anything on this planet earth. That's why he can comfortably pee on, a, on an Israelite student's laptop and books. And he doesn't see anything wrong with it. Go ahead. And now am I their song? Now are we their song? They speak ill of us through the media because they own the media. So they push whatever narrative they want to tarnish our image. Go ahead. Yay. I am their byword. I am their byword. That's why they call us kafirs, duckies, and baboons and all that. These are real things that are happening. Go ahead. They abhor me. They hate us. Go ahead. They flee far from me. That's why they push, that's why they pushed us into the ghettos. They live in the suburbs. That's why it says, they flee far from me. Go ahead. And spare not to spit in my face. He says, they don't even, they are not even afraid to spit in our faces. That's why you see what he did? He's not even afraid to pee on his, uh, on, on that, uh, that, that brother's uh, laptop and his book. At Stellenbosch University, a university, guess what? He says, they spare not to spit in my face. You see this thing right there? ENCA's Monique Motlock has more on that story. The lawyer for Tien Sutoy says he views the Stellenbosch University Disciplinary Committee's judgment as bad as conclusions were made based on unproven facts. Attorney William Fullard says there were other errors made as well, which he will fully outline during the appeal. Babalo Ndwayana refused to be part of the hearing as he felt the university wasn't being impartial. The committee found Dutoe had contravened several of the university's codes of conduct. This includes acting in a manner that is racist, unfairly discriminatory, violent, grossly insulting, abusive or intimidating against any other person. For now, this is definitely something that we're happy about and something that we're um, happy to accept. But we also know that this is just a drop in the ocean compared to what more needs to come um, in order for our institution to be fully rid of the systemic issues, in order for the system to be dismantled um, and to truly be a university that is inclusive, um, not just in policies and not just on paper, but um, in the actions of the people. Ndwayana's lawyers say they hope the disciplinary committee's judgment stands. Some students have also weighed in. I mean, most people these days, especially young students, don't take accountability for their actions. 
So if you've done something, at the end of the day, you're going to have to deal with the consequences. It's really unfortunate for TNS himself because his case, unfortunately, was the tipping point. Thank God majority of the students were like, what is actually going on? The fact this is, is still happening. The punishment for him is very fair. Since I'm a black person, I also have experienced such. But the thing is, the incidents are not that published or, or maybe like public. An independent commission of inquiry into racism at the university is also underway, led by former constitutional court judge Sisi Kampepe. Ndwayana has also opened a criminal case against Sutwe with the SAPS, which is still ongoing. Monique Mortlock, Cape Town.